If you've quit drinking alcohol and you need help, this is the place to be. My name is Dean. This is my quit drinking story where I share the wins and challenges and losses of my experience with quitting alcohol for good. This video is dedicated to the topic of acceptance. Now in the first video, we did talk about accepting the quest, which is in the same wheelhouse, but I'd like to go into the subject a little bit deeper, especially around the term, I am an alcoholic. Is it helpful? Is it bad? The answer is both, and I'll explain why with two short stories from my life. A long, long time ago, <laughs> when I was 23, I went to a friend's house for a casual meetup. We had a glass of wine, a good chat, and then it was time to go home. It was the middle of the week. But on the way home, I did a U-turn and decided I'm going out. I'd already had a glass of wine in the system. So, you know, it felt like let's, let's keep this party going for a little bit longer. The next morning I wake up and I'm still in my car. I look around, the streets are empty. Nobody's there and I'm still in front of the pub. The first thought that crosses my mind is Everybody in this place last night was drunk, but I'm the only person still here in my car the next day. There is something wrong with me. Sick to my stomach, not just from the hangover, but from the feeling of absolute dread, guilt, and shame, I decided that this is it. I need to do something about this. And I need to push in there that by this point, I'd already had a severe accident with a laceration to my hand. I had already had a car accident. So maybe I was worse than other people, normal people. Within the week, I had signed up to a local AA meeting. I walked in, nervous as all hell, sat down and listened to some stories. Afterwards, I had a lot of people come to me. They were very encouraging, congratulating me for being so young and coming to something like this. It felt good. But I did realize that I was the youngest person by at least 15 to 20 years. But I was also the only person who hadn't yet lost their entire life. I didn't lose a business, a house, a wife, or kids. I was still fine. And with that came the first problem. At this point, I was willing to accept the phrase, I am an alcoholic. I was in the group after all. But those little thoughts in my head that I'm not as bad as these guys, that if I just behave myself from now on and keep it in line, I won't end up like that. I saved myself. I did the right thing at the right time. I'm doing a good job. Within three months, I decided I could manage this beast. So drinking slowly came back into my life. And over the course of the next 10 years, I managed to behave myself, kind of. I definitely wasn't as bad as before. No more car accidents, no more lacerations to the wrist, no more big drama. But I always had that reference point of sitting in that room and listening to those stories. Making the statement, I am an alcoholic, was the right thing to do at the time because it entered me into the game of, I have a problem. And it's with my second story, only years later, when I finally actually felt what it feels like to be rid of alcohol, wanting to get rid of it, where the term, I am an alcoholic, no longer served me. So here's story number two. About 11 years later, I fell into a healthy circle of friends, good habits, and just decided one day, I don't need to drink anymore. I quit drinking for a year and seven months, and it was pretty easy. I lost a whole bunch of weight, I was getting fit, I was pulling my act together in the business world and in my relationship. And the big realization was that I am an alcoholic doesn't serve me anymore. Because an alcoholic is somebody who struggles with the problem. A person who is no longer an alcoholic is somebody who doesn't struggle with the problem. Before I entered that AA circle at 23, I was just living. The day I said, I have a problem, I am an alcoholic, I acknowledged that I had a problem and the struggle began. The day I realized I want to quit drinking, I want something else, I want to replace this with a good life, was the day I stopped being an alcoholic. So for me, labeling myself, I am an alcoholic, was very useful, but it wasn't good to keep that forever. When you reach a point where this is gone and done, you can let it go again. You change. The practical thing here is to get awareness of where are you in this journey for yourself. Are you in the unconscious part? 
Probably not because you're watching this video. And if you're in the early phases where you haven't actually acknowledged to the full extent that you have a problem and this needs to end, then it's time to say, I am an alcoholic. And one day in the future, when you are not even thinking about it anymore, when your life doesn't even revolve around that or revolve around managing this problem, that's the day you can let it go. So the very first step was I accept the quest, but now you have to go a little bit deeper and harder and acknowledge and accept I am an alcoholic. This is very difficult. This is not easy to say. And I also want you to acknowledge that you can keep this to yourself. There is a reason they call it Alcoholics Anonymous. Keep it with you, keep it within a safe circle. Because another one of the pitfalls that I experienced was the moment I accepted I am an alcoholic and went back into the world, I started telling people about it. Like, oh, I, I am an alcoholic, I quit drinking, I joined AA. The day I started doing that, I started to feel like, ah, I'm over this, I'm better than this, I've got this. This journey is not about hitting an extreme on this side or on this side, it's about walking the line straight down the middle. And that is going to require you to accept things, then let them go, accept new things and then let them go. This journey is going to be an evolution of you. It's going to be growth and transformation. And you're not going to be the same person at the end of it as the person who is now struggling with something in your life. Acceptance is always the first step of overcoming an addiction. We always hear this, but it's very hard to know what it means. What does it practically look like? So the first step, as we know, accept the quest accept the problem that you have. And the next step is to gain greater awareness of why you are like this, to understand what led you to this point, what pain do you have inside that is keeping you in a state of struggle. And once we know exactly what it is that causes this pain, then we can accept that that has happened and it is time to move on. Stop looking at the past, working in the present to enjoy a better future. So with that, you already now know the next topic. We're going to talk about why we become alcoholics. I can give you a few reference points from me, what kind of drinker I was, because that also changed over the years. Spoiler alert, over the course of 15 years, I was every type of drinker, even the ones I thought I never would be when I was 23, which was my fun and loving phase, all the way down to being a shitty husband. So if you want to know the tools for uncovering the past, healing the trauma, and getting into your good life, Join me on this journey, subscribe. And if you're ready, feel free to share your stories in the comments. But if you want to keep it private and you wanna to talk to me, that's fine too. I will leave an email address in the description below. Talk to me. I'm truly grateful to be in this position, to be able to do this. Thank you to the internet for allowing this kind of possibility. I wish you good luck.